Doctors and ear specialists say it's becoming all too common. Kids in their offices complaining of hearing problems. There are a lot of factors that play a role in this, but listen up because the leading cause of hearing impairments may surprise you. Jennifer Mullins back with that. Advances in technology in the last decade has left us with the ability to really amplify sound tremendously. Affected and doctors birth. say it's also amplifying a major health issue. The problem with this type of hearing loss, it's permanent. Dr. Jason Mazakis treats noise-induced hearing loss. Ten years ago, most of his patients were older adults, but that's changed. We used to know this as a disease of the aging. We're now seeing 20-year-olds and 30-year-olds with the same equivalent damage. So what's the problem? I think all the headphone technologies today are incredibly intense and have incredible power. And although many of them have built-in governors to govern or limit the sound volume, many people work around those. The rule of thumb from doctors is if the person standing next to you can hear the music you're listening to through your headphones, your music is too loud. Sound is measured in units called decibels. Some of the headphones out there can reach up to 120 decibels. You hear this? This is 90 decibels. This is as loud as a power mower. I can listen to this safely for two hours without earplugs in my ears. But as soon as I put them on my ears, this is louder than 90 decibels. This is as loud as a symphony orchestra. I can only listen to this safely for one hour. It's kind of like the earthquake scale. Little changes in decibel are actually huge changes in magnitude. We took this information a step further to a local audiologist. What about this topic is most alarming to you? What's most alarming is we've become a very headphone use society. Can you hear me pretty well? Good. This is 15-year-old Sam Hewitt. He listens to a lot of loud music and plays the drums. Say the word baseball. Say the drums the can also reach about 120 decibels. Drummers without ear protection can only safely handle that kind of volume for about four minutes. Sam practices anywhere from 15 to 30. As a young adult, you don't worry about it. You don't think about it. But, you know, th the way he is, you know it's just going to get worse and worse. Learning some of the things that you learned today, are you more interested in, in ear protection? I don't want to go deaf in the future, so I'm going, I'm definitely going to get earplugs when I play my drums. Doctors hope ear protection will become more common, but the marketing and ability to amplify sound makes their job more difficult. As an audiologist, what do you want to say to companies that make headphones like this? Output limit them. Make the ear, the headphones noise canceling wow. so they don't have to turn up the sound loud enough to overcome exterior noise. And again, that was our Jennifer Mullen reporting. And just an interesting postscript here. She tried for two weeks, she tells me, to share that message with Apple, which currently owns Beats by Dre. And Beats is one of the most popular headphones out there right now. But she says she still hasn't heard a response. Well, some Dunkin' Donuts customers got a pleasant surprise this morning. Why dozens of people got the chance to benefit from a fierce college hockey rivalry. That's next.